Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Infinite Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do an FT and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. And also, we'll discuss Fin Nifty since it is an expiry tomorrow. So today, market uh, all three indices shown a very good fall. Uh, however, I did not trade, or I couldn't uh, trade rather, and I did not make any money in this fall today. Definitely. Uh, because I had a busy week last week and I thought that from this week I'll be back into my normal routine of trading but however it seems that this week may also go a little tough for me because uh, my daughter is going to a picnic and this is the first time we are going to send her to a picnic and uh, she's small, she's a six years old and uh, definitely that is the day when you know i would want to be at home uh, you know you always have a fear uh, in your mind so i would want to be around and then the next day she has her birthday and then it's a gap in between and then my wife's birthday and it's pongal it's a festival so too much of uh, things in the coming week so going to be a bit of a busy week i'm not sure how i'm gonna trade uh, but definitely i think once all these things are settled then from next week i should be a little free and then somewhere close to the third week onwards i'm gonna be a little busy uh, again for another week or so and then i think uh, i'm gonna be free and uh, sit and trade continuously so anyway so now let's quickly just check out so i thought of uh, doing some analysis on a higher time frame so this is nifty weekly chart if you look at nifty's uh, weekly spot chart or rather even the futures chart one thing that is very interesting is if you look at the other indices uh, on a weekly chart they are all forming some inside candles but nifty is showing some sort of a reversal kind of a pattern not yet confirmed so why reversal because so this is a green candle and then we have another uh, candle which is higher than this particular candle. So like I always say, so what we call it as is a current candle. So this current candle's low is breached today, which means that it is telling us that I'm going to take a pullback. I'm going to plan to go down, but this is a weekly chart. So weekly charts, brother, is the daily chart. So on a daily chart tomorrow, if tomorrow or maybe day after tomorrow, whenever we see another candle closing below this 21,500. So if you look at this, the low is also somewhere round figure 21,500.35. So when we see closing below 21,500, that means that this trend is going to take a little bit of rest. And we have budget on Friday, 1st of February. So I don't know what they are planning to do before that. And, uh, you know, during the weekend, there was a little bit of uh, uh, sad news for the invest uh, institutional traders that, you know, for day trading, they are banned for taking short positions in the stocks and all those stuff. So I think that could be one of the reasons why they start booking profits. Not really sure. But uh, anyways, news is all about Bahanas to take the market up and down, is what I believe. Okay, so Nifty has shown that okay, it is trying to go and take a pullback, but unlike that, if you look at Bank Nifty, uh, Bank Nifty, okay, so finally today it just broke the low of this candle. So now the funda of inside candle has finished, and then if you look at Fin Nifty, Fin Nifty is still under an inside candle. Okay, so what does the Nifty and Bank Nifty say is we are planning to take a pullback okay but there is one thing that happens when they plan to take a pullback is uh when i say pullback we want market to go down like this okay so right now it is in a situation where it is showing that i'm going to go like this but that never happens so they'll trap us maybe tomorrow and then they'll do some time pass and then they can give a breakdown okay so i'm expecting something or anything like this so what we will plan is what we'll talk here so before that we'll look at the data 
data seems to be a little interesting if i have created 1500 longs let's just forget it created 18773 shots so this tells us that you know now they are trying to hedge their positions they're going lighter on the strong bullish side okay but the only issue is call shot and put shot okay too many call shot and put shot and the best part here is look at pro desks call shot their call shot number is 10 lakhs and i've always told you whenever they do any sort of things like this whenever their short positions are more than 4 lakhs or 5 lakhs, market tends to take a U-turn because they also want to be a little light. Okay, So I'm expecting that the second half can probably uh, be a strong pullback or towards the upside. Uh, one of the reasons may be, you know, after such candle where it has told us that, okay, I'm going to break down now, I'm going to take a pullback, Usually, you see another doji kind of a candle in the uh, besides it. Okay. So, like for example, look at here. Okay. This is the red candle which broke the low of the current candle. It gave us a confirmation that I'm going to go down, boss. But what it did next time, it put a doji. Okay. Again, a doji. Then a couple of candles. Then it went down. So, this is what. It happens usually. So I'm expecting a doji kind of a candle uh, maybe in the next week. But this week is still continuing. So what we are going to do is uh, tomorrow in case if they do any sort of time pass uh, or in the first half itself if they go down then we may plan a reversal trade for upside. Or if they stay above for some time then we can expect them that they may go down again. Okay. So let's discuss the levels. So first we'll discuss Nifty. So Nifty what we'll do is, okay, this is trend line liquidity. I did not see this in the morning. Otherwise it was a beautiful trade. Okay, so tomorrow, uh, if they open somewhere within 25,600 to 21,500, then at this place, uh, we'll definitely go short. Okay, and if they, once they'll come and fill the gap, and then we need to look out or watch out what exactly they are planning to do. Okay. So any opening around 21,600, 580, something like that, this is an order block. So in this place, you can plan a put. We can expect the 21,500 as a target. This is one of the trade that we can get. If we open gap down, let's wait for the gap to fill. Don't take a call trade here. Though there is a support level here, okay, this gap will get filled. Uh, but not a very good idea to take a call. But let them go up and then we can again plan to buy a put and then it will make a fresh low and then second half we'll try and see if we could take any call positions so this is the two things that we could do and flat opening and if it's going down you can take a put but not with too much of quantity uh, but definitely we can enjoy that rally now if we check out bank nifty bank nifty broke a lot of support now the next level seems to be 46886 which is quite from far from this place uh, so this is the daily inducement level so here we can expect some buying but uh, this is still about 600 700 points away so maybe we cannot plan it for tomorrow so what we'll do here is let's get back to five minutes. So this is also a support zone. Okay, this is an order block here. It is taking support or it is halted here. So tomorrow, if we open above this, uh, it may try to travel and go up. Okay, and in case if we get this somewhere close to this place, okay, if we get bank nifty somewhere close to forty-seven seven hundred, here we can try one put once again 
for this dip okay for 47520 so this is the only trade that i see in bank nifty for tomorrow in case if we open in the positive area around 47520530 and if it goes here then we can plan a put here and apart from that i think uh, it is going or planning to be sideways in case if it opens here because anyways today's candle is big and if we open gap up then they may try to keep it as an inside candle and do a momentum on the expiry day we can plan anything like that so be a little careful uh, if we open flat and we continue to break down yes we will go for a put but with less quantity but this is a put place this is a put place uh, call right now not really interested because even if you buy the premiums will not increase that much but in the second half we could give it a try for the call because considering that 10 lakh shots have been taken by uh, proprietary desk traders and they'll definitely want a exit window and we may see a little bit of short covering so that we don't want to miss and similarly if you look at uh, fin nifty fin nifty's next level happens to be around 21055 okay right now it is at 21300 so fin nifty also we'll put a line maybe here okay if we open above this we will take a put position when it reaches to this place okay 21389 when it comes to this place we will try a put position for the target of 21300 uh so 90 points fall if we open flat and continue further we go with a lesser quantity of put and let it go down and here when it goes here and we take a put here and then in the second half if it breaks down further then i think we can consider re-entering but only if it breaks down further in the second half otherwise we will wait and see if there is any chance of taking a reversal so this is my view on nifty and bank nifty and also for NFT for tomorrow. I hope you will get it. Thank you for watching. Mark these levels, follow these levels. This should work great. So let's meet in another video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.